almost two weeks with rain. Uh, finally a beautiful day. Hopefully it sticks around. Hey everybody, what's going on? Hope you guys are all doing well. Going to have a great uh, 4th of July weekend. Going to have a great one over here. So I decided to kind of take a little bit of a break from YouTube for a while. So I have some videos to catch up on that you guys have made. And uh, have some videos to post that I've made so far. So right now I'm kind of working on the Zebra Stripe uh, kick guitar. Go figure. And I want to do some pickup mounting. So I already got the neck pickup mounted. So I'm going to show you how I did the bridge pickup which is basically a rinse and repeat of the first pickup install so I had to pick up some screws that were for uh, direct mounting so here they are now you can see that uh, well the threads don't go all the way up to underneath the head of the screw so you have some you know nice nice area where the pickup will kind of free float a little bit and here is the foam done was using for bass guitars and I'm going to use it for basically as you see here right underneath the pickup it's going to act as a spring for adjusting the pickup height and I had to double up on it to kind of build it up a little bit more so I'm going to start and uh, yeah start installing some pickups like I said this is going to be a rinse and repeat so enjoy So right now I'm going to start to install the bridge and neck volume and tone controls. Get that done and out of the way. I have to do a little bit of measuring because these are long shaft. So I'm going to have to make sure that I measure so they don't stick out too far over onto the other side. You know, making the tone and volume knobs kind of like stick up really high off the body of the guitar. So I'm going to get into that. So what do you know? I just so happened to install a set of Seymour Duckins on this. Hmm. Makes my life a lot easier, don't it? Thank you. 